good show. Dynamite, Grand Slam, and Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. Uh, well, these matches were awesome, man. Like, it's one of those things that every year they pull out all the stops. And just the entrance way, you have the ramp that has the highway thing on there. And that made it pretty cool. This was a very good show. I know Rampage has a lot more matches coming up. I'll try to cover that, hopefully. We'll see what happens. The first match, you have Claudio Castagnoli versus Eddie Kingston. Two rivals that, yeah, they really despise each other. Obviously, Claudio, Ring of Honor, television champion. You've got... Eddie Kingston, the AWGP strong champion. This was a really good match. There was a point where Eddie hit his head on the ramp. Did a lot of machine gun chops as well to Claudio. And Claudio really tried, you know, and I think it's one of those things too where it's like it was the right call. And your new. Ring of Honor television champion, Maddie Kingston. And yeah, I normally will get mad at the whole double champion, whatever. But I think that having this match really proved how good Eddie was. Like he was always good in AEW, in Japan, in... Well, hell, even Impact Wrestling all over the place. And just one of those things, too, where it's like, after the match, they showed respect. I mean, Eddie just shook his hand nonchalantly, whatever, and left the ring. But, yeah, I mean, actually, no, it was Claudio. Sorry. But, yeah, it was basically one of those things where, what's next for Eddie? And I... Just one of my favorite wrestlers, even in AEW, or if you want, New Japan, or where, you know, wherever. So this was a good match, and we'll see what happens. Maybe they will have a rematch at some point, who knows. I don't really think it hurt the Blackpool Combat Club, although I'll talk about that in a second. Now the match that was talked about last week. We got Chris Jericho versus Sammy Kofara, and this match did not disappoint. Like they said, they're going to hit each other as hard as possible. You have Sammy Kofara, who wore similar tights to what Chris Jericho wore, facing Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 19 30 years ago. Holy shit. I'm old. Anyways. That'll play in later on, but I mean, these two guys really did beat the shit out of each other. They're just punches and reversals and a Spanish fly at some point. And it was just like, very cool to see that. And yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where it was like, you thought Sammy was going to finally get a win over Chris. And there was even a point too where they did the the sex gods taunt or whatever. And that was kind of cool. 
And it was just one of those things, too, where there was the thing that Sammy was doing, I believe it was a moonsault, which turned into the code breaker. I mean, Sammy did a code breaker of his own at one point, and yeah, so that happened, which got Chris Jericho the win, and they looked at each other. There was the moment where they hugged, they embraced. They said some things to each other, and yeah, Sammy turns to walk away, and then turns back around to kick City. And how I propose that, like I said, we talked about 20 years ago, for Mania 19, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. Shawn Michaels was the mentor for Chris Jericho, you know, just the idol. And I mean, you have the same shot where Chris is on his knees and Sammy just pushes him. It was almost, well it was, exactly the same as having Chris Jericho do that to Sean. And then pushing Sean on the mat and then leaving the ring. Although this time... Sammy left the ring with Don Callis, who came out from Gorilla and joined Sammy. And it was just like, okay, so now we have a reversal. We have Sammy Guevara as a heel. Chris Jericho is still a face, which I think is a very good thing. And I mean, there's one of those things where I kind of didn't want to see Chris go back to being a heel. Or joining the Don Callis family. I wanted to see something new. And this is what we have now. We'll see what happens next week on Dynamite. But. Again. This was a really fucking good match. Yeah. For a Phoenix versus John Moxley. For the international title. And this match was cool. And I mean. Two different styles obviously. It's one of those things too. Where you know. John fought dirty a lot, and I mean, it was cool because I didn't really know how good, well, I knew how good Ray Phoenix was, but it was just kind of like, yeah, I mean, you have the paradigm shift from Moxley, obviously, for the ropes, you have... The Phoenix Driver, two Phoenix Drivers, on to John, spiking him on the mat twice, which basically gave him a concussion. So, yeah. I mean, uh, that's kind of where it all ended. I mean, you have Dr. Samson and another guy coming out, checking on Mox after the match, and Ray Phoenix is the new champion. So, I hope that John Moxley's okay. And I did a video a couple days ago about his health and how long he has to be a wrestler. I don't even know if, like, it's honestly a possibility now that he could retire from the ring. Honestly, don't know. I don't know. I like John. I think he's a great wrestler. Okay, that might be pushing it, but I think that... Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens, but I hope he gets well soon. We have the two former best friends, the two former teammates of the Outcast, Surya, the AEW Women's Champion, and then of course, Tony Storm, chin up, tits out. And I really like the theme music of hers, and it's got that whole Hollywood Marilyn Monroe thing going on, and very good. And I mean, this match was cool, too. You got Ruby coming out in the middle of it, you know. You have a point where Surya is sitting down on the turnbuckle, and you think that Tony's gonna kick her, but it turns out she hesitates. And then she eventually does, but she misses, and yeah, I mean, there was a lot of hesitation those two, I mean, 
they're still pretty good friends, I'm sure. But yeah, this was a good match. He had a point too. There was the spray that was gonna be used. Well, I mean, you have Tony he beating the shit out of Soraya with the heels, and also Ruby Riot. I mean, this was interesting. There was a point where you have Tony kissing Soraya on the lips and then doing Storm Zero. That didn't get the win. And eventually, you have Soraya hit the rampage for the win, retaining the title. And this was a really good match. And I hope that they have another one down the road. I'm not quite sure if the outcast is still stable. I'm not sure anymore. Like, it's up in here. I do know that Ruby and Soraya are still a team, but as far as Tony Storm, I don't think that's something that's gonna happen anytime soon, rather. So we'll see what happens next week. Or hell, maybe even Rampage or Collision. So it's called the Nightcap. Okay, that's fine. Now you have Samoa Joe and MJF. It's funny how you got MJF coming out. He has on the screen, you've got the whole nod to Bret Hart, but the classic fan thing. Turns out the fan got whispered in his ear, looking at his dad going, I'm adopted. Yeah, so I mean, that's what's cool too, and I think that Joe beat the shit right out of MJF, even putting him through a table on the outside. You know, it was just like, and, and even doing the muscle buster. And then, you know, he hits the cookie leaf clutch, and out comes Adam Cole trying to support MJF, and it works, you know. But then, you know, have the ref, have his back turned, you've got the ring, and MJF just mugging the camera with it. But then Paul Turner takes the ring off, which, you know, has the whole thing where he has his back turned and you've got MJF take out a chain or rope or whatever that was and choke out some other Joe. But the ref doesn't see it. So he basically taps Joe out and yeah, MJF is still the champion. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, they shook hands as well. So this was a really good show, and I mean, again, we'll see what happens on Rampage. I don't normally watch it, but I'll see what I can do. I'll post this anyways, but yeah. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews that he 